What's going on guys? So today we are out here in Elkhart, Indiana at Alliance's factory taking a look at their 2025 model year lineup. This is a dealer open house and they've invited me out to film a lot of their products. In front of you, you were looking at a very, very cool floor plan because it's kind of a take on a slightly shorter, a little bit more compact, just a little bit more compact toy hauler. So let's see what they've done here with this Valor. Hang tight. I'll be right back. And real quick, if you ever want to wonder how they actually get the weight to put on the sticker, that's actually where we're at right now. This is the scaling area. They got their scale right here, and they can actually pull the RV over to this area, drop it down so they specifically know how much one of their RVs weighs. By taking a look at the numbers on this unit, it has a gross vehicle weight rating of 16,950 pounds and a dry weight of 14,792 pounds. So it's a relatively light toy hauler for you know how big it is of course. It has twin 7,000 pound axles and it has a cargo carrying capacity of 2,098 pounds. So, and it has G-rated tires by the way. So this is definitely more tailored towards folks who may not have big toys and they simply need something to carry the toys they have. Mountain bikes, maybe a small golf cart, something like that with them. It has a Rotaflex pin box up front which is a vibration dampening pin box. You have your storage up here as well. Your generator lives in here. That is gonna be your NPS 6000, powered by Yamaha generator. Battery box down here. And this is a really cool multifaceted storage because you can access it from the side as well. It's gonna have twin 30 pound propane cans. I love the motion detection lights. You have all of your awning and slide out controls on the outside, which is really nice. Just to make sure you're not gonna hit anything that you might be parked next to. You have a sprayer shower valve right there. Gonna go up your Moride step above steps into this Alliance Valor 36V11. Okay, inside of this unit, we're gonna quickly pan around so you can see what's going on. It has that traditional four seat toy hauler kind of uh, love seat theater seating setup here. You have your smart TV mount in the corner, your Furion refrigerator and a really nice kind of bar area here. Great spot for a coffee maker. You're going to have your soft closing hinges on all of your cabinets, prep for backup camera, reinforced drawers, nice cabinetry again, all soft closing. You have this really cool little pop-up piece right there. We have some liquefied gray tank treatment on the counter. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. Water manifold system. We'll show you that when we get out to the wet bay area. That is super, super cool and a great upgrade. Nice shower sprayer here. Again, we have our side-by-side -side French door refrigerator. In here, we have our storage. Would have been really nice in the pantry here to have adjustable shelves. On this side, we have our Greystone four burner stove oven combination. Greystone residential microwave as well. More storage all around. Another storage cabinet there. This is kind of your other pantry area. This is also a great spot for a coffee maker. With this popped up in the back, you could definitely put some bar stools under here and have a good amount of extra seating space here. But for your typical family, you have four seats right here. You could probably fit, you know, three kids if you wanted to in this space, if you wanted everyone together in case you're watching a movie or something at night. Right here, you have, again, your TV with your JBL sound system. Panoramic wide view fireplace right there. Really nice overall. You have three air conditioning units in here also. And then up here, you have some extra storage as well. Stepping into your 11 foot garage. You have your washer and dryer connections here. So these both drop down. This is your dinette, and then that is an extra sleeping area up top. It gives you a tremendous amount of capability of sleeping a large family back here. Then you have your steps right here, which take you down from the back area. Also your ladder to get to this loft, which is right here. You got some extra storage there. Smart TV. And the loft up top is usually meant for storage. I know you could sleep someone up there if you really wanted to, but it's just kind of extra space that they were able to utilize. Then we have our back deck. 
Very, very nice. And then the steps can come off of the back if you'd like them there. All right, and then we have a half bath here as well. Thermofoil countertop, it'd been nice if that was solid surface. Undermount stainless steel sink, porcelain foot flush toilet. You have your mirror on the wall. So that's really nice. So you still maintain your half bath even though this is a shorter toy hauler. But yeah, this is a, it's a pretty cool floor plan. I like the concept of shorter toy haulers, but I would actually prefer if this garage was even shorter, like maybe four feet shorter. Great spot for mountain bikes, things like that reinvest this space into the kitchen and living room and just have a really great toy hauler for folks who don't have huge toys. That's kind of my idea. I know Brinkley has their own version of it, um, but even that one is not exactly what I would execute on in terms of the perfect design. Okay, so we're gonna work our way to the front, by the way. Got my friends from me trailer here as well. Tyler, which you've met before. David, which you probably haven't met before, but he's their new affiliate manager. Really cool. Okay, working our way to the front of this unit. Turn to the left here is your bathroom. It's a very nice bathroom. I love this kind of wave design in the one-piece shower stall. A lot of room in the shower. Porcelain foot flush toilet. Soft closed seat and lid. Nice solid surface material. Undermount sink. Really nice. And real quick, I want to give a big shout out to the folks over at Liquefied for sponsoring all of these videos I'm doing out at Alliance. They are a really, really great company uh, by a really great person, Matt, if you know him from Matt's RV Review. Definitely check them out. I use their products. They work very, very well. You know, it's, I'm, I'm proud of him. He's, he's formed a really, really great company with really great products that definitely help with the segment that we talk about, RVs. Anyways, if you're interested in purchasing these for your RV, head over to their website. Go to liquefiedrv.com. Right now, if you use promo code BTBRV, you get your first order, buy one, get one free. So definitely go over there, check that out. All right, let's migrate from the bathroom into the bedroom. So we have some hidden storage right here, which Alliance kind of pioneered. Have our smart TV on the wall. You have your closet space right over there. King size bed with power and USB on the side so you can charge your phones and tablets. Nice and low as well. You probably have some storage underneath here. You do. And some drawers below. Nice padded headboard. Good size closet as well. Spot for washer and dryer below, which is nice. So they give you a spot in the back and a spot up front. And then you have more storage on the sides, which gotta open these up to get to. Very nice. Anyways, very nice. This is a very cool interior. Anyways, we're gonna hop outside, take a look at the outside of this unit real quick, and then we'll wrap things up. Okay, so working from the front to the back, again, Kurt Rotaflex, love the fact that they put the table up here. That is super cool. You bring a good size fold out table with you. More right step above steps, safety rail, as well as the 10 inch I-beam with the reinforced section beneath it for the suspension. Rack and pinion slide out. You're gonna have G-rated tires on here also. JBL speakers on the outside. This has the Cree 3000 upgraded suspension equalizers, which is really nice. It does have the heavy duty shackle straps and greasable wet bolts, which is also really nice. Sterling G-rated tires. Aluminum flip-out steps here. Again, your Lippert hydraulic leveling system, as well as an air compressor back here. Coming around this way. 50 amp connection here. You got your ladder to get onto the roof from the side. Your fueling station is right here. This does have lithium iron phosphate battery up front as well, which is a nice upgrade. Rack and pinion slide out mechanism over here. And the big one that I wanna show off after talking about the water heater and the furnace is going to be this. Finally starting to see water manifold systems appear. I love the fact that Alliance has, uh, has adopted that into their Valor lineup. It is a wonderful system which gives you the ability to kill water to any connection at any time if there's a problem. Absolutely love that. Very, very nice water control station. I love the fact that you can control the slides on this side from the outside as well, which gives you a lot of visibility if you need to avoid obstacles or obstructions. Very, very cool. All right, so what do you guys think of this unit? Slightly smaller than one of the other ones we looked at, um, but I think what David might appreciate is the fact that this sofa can definitely seat 
probably a few more people than some of the other toy haulers we've seen. Yeah, it's interesting. You can definitely tell that it's a little bit smaller, but yeah, it has better seating, I feel like, for the living room. And with the island, it gives you plenty of room to um, sit and eat dinner. So yeah, it's, it's different, but I think I like this version a little bit better. Yep, even with the smaller garage. Now, do you have any toys, like gas-powered toys, things like that, that you take with you? Uh, no, not currently, but uh, every every week my daughter asks me when we're going to get a golf cart. So I think that's something we're going to be getting soon. Right so. Okay. Yes. Tyler, any comments? Yeah, I, uh, compared to some of the other toy haulers we've looked at today, you can definitely see that the, the kitchen here is is the, the center of this entire setup. Yep, um, this for is sure. kind of the area to hang out. You're kind of sacrificing with the limited space, the, the, the dining table, so I'm gonna sit down and actually eat all together. That's why you have this extension here, which is kind of cool if that's what you're looking for, a little bit bigger couch, a little bit tighter area, but this is definitely a centerpiece, which I think is unique for sure. Okay, very cool, well, I appreciate it. Guys, leave a comment below. I'd love to know what your thoughts are as well. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a like thumbs up, like the video, and we'll talk to you again very soon.